Hello. You're watching Much Ado About Something today, and I'm Donna. Thank you this morning for joining me. It's the 9th of January. And I'm doing the Three Rivers Challenge. The Three Rivers Challenge is hosted by Jessica for the Three Rivers Homestead. I'm doing the January Pantry Challenge, where we try to eat solely from our pantry, our cabinets, our freezers, and whatever we have dehydrated or dried. This is day nine of the pantry challenge. I wanted to show you what it looks like outside. It's a torrential rain. You know, we're catching the foot of the storm. And it has been raining for about two days now, thundering and lightning and lots of wind. You can see the trees moving up there. And that's the problem when you have this kind of storm here where we're at, it's the storms, the wind uh, becomes hazardous in itself. It really, it really does. And so we're here enduring the storm and the rains this morning. We're glad to be home inside and dry. And it's a really day, a good day to go in here and find something in the pantry and the cabinets and cook. So I'm, I'm in the mood for some uh, stewed beef and potatoes. That's something that I enjoy eating, and I'm, I, that's what I've got a craving for today. Now, I did not uh, be able, I was not able to film yesterday. It was the 8th. I had Ladies Fellowship, so I didn't eat at home. I ate at Ladies Fellowship. I didn't have children because, you know, it was Monday, and that's, that's my day off. So, um, there was no meal from the pantry on day 8, so that's why you didn't get a video on day 8. But today, I'm back up here and pulling things out of the pantry and the refrigerator and the freezers and... Uh, making a meal and I'll bring you along with me. Now the thing about all these storms with all this wind going like it is, if uh, one of a tree should fall and knock out the power, then I'll be out of the internet, so it might interrupt this. I'm gonna go ahead and fix this meal, but if the power goes out, then it'll just be sitting here waiting. I wanted to make some biscuits to go with it, but I don't know if I should uh, trust doing that right now or not. That's normally what we would have with beef stew. The beef stew will be all right if it stops at any stage. I can just pick it up right after that. But I don't know about the biscuits. But I'll bring you with me as far as I can here. Now, I've already got some potatoes peeled. I've got one more to peel. I didn't think you wanted to watch me peel all these potatoes. And so I just moved right along with it and went ahead and peeled a few before I uh, turned the camera on. So you wouldn't have to watch me peel all of them. That might be a little bit boring to some people. I'm just going to make a pot. I'm going to try to make a smaller pot because you know my big old uh, pot of soup. It lasted us quite a while and I'm not um, not trying to fix a whole bunch today. Just going to make this beef stew and potatoes for dinner tonight. Maybe I'll get some biscuits made if this storm holds out enough and lets me do that. Just kind of hunker down in here. Actually, it's a wonderful thing to be able to be inside cooking on a day like today. Now I've got some vegetable soup that I'm unthawing right here. I unthawed in this pan of water here. Uh, so I'm going to put that in a pot and heat that up for my lunch today. I've already fed the kiddos that are here. This is hamburger. I'm going to go ahead and get this out. I'm going to brown this up because I've got some uh, tortilla wraps. And I'm just going to wrap up a little bit of hamburger, sour cream, hot sauce, and have that on the side of my... Uh, little bit of vegetable soup I got here. So that's what I'll be doing for myself for lunch today. And over here I've got um, th the stuff that I got out of the pantry. I brought these cinnamon pickles out of the pantry because I absolutely love these pickles. They're made with the big cucumbers that you normally don't do anything else with. I make relish out of them or these cinnamon uh, pickles. They're so good. They taste like candy. I went down there and got the beef. I've got this uh, beef here that's got quite a bit of uh, liquid in it. And then I've got one here that's uh, a full can of beef. And the reason that this is like this, the reason this one has more liquid in it is because when I canned this, this was the end of the run. That was all the meat that I had left and I just went ahead and added some water to it and canned it. And this one, of course, I didn't add water to. I just packed it with the beef. And then when I canned it, all this water came out of it. Well, I've got the can and a half of beef that I'm going to put in the 
stew pot here when I get these potatoes washed and cut up. And I brought up some peaches up too. I, I'm sorry, they're not peaches. They're uh, brandied pears. That's the reason they're so dark. I thought while I was down there, I'll just go ahead and bring a few things up that we like to eat on, which would be these uh, cinnamon pickles made from the big cucumbers out of the garden. And then these brandied pears, which are just pears that are canned with brandy, and I use them like a dessert. They're really good when you heat them up. They don't look all that great, but they taste really good if you know how to fix them. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wash these potatoes and get them cleaned up. And I know you can't probably hear this on camera, but it is torrential rains out there. It is uh, really storming. Let's see if I can show you from the back door what's going on. See the wind blowing the trees and I've got to close the door because it's blowing into, it's blowing inside. We don't have a covered deck out there. I mean a cover over the deck out there so it is It was really I had somewhat of an interruption. Madeline came in. She wanted more lunch, so I had to fix her a little bit more. I've got the pan heating up here that I'm going to put the soup in. Uh, you know, the vegetable soup that I'm going to eat for lunch. I've got it right here. I think I'm going to go ahead and brown the hamburger in this, and then I'll leave a little, uh, drain the fat off and leave a little bit of hamburger in there to add to my soup. Add a little salt. Go ahead and get this broken up a little bit so I can go ahead and uh, get it to brown. Now I've got this pot over here hot and I'm going to go ahead and add the um, canned beef. That's the wonderful thing about this canned beef. We can most of our meat like this. It's, it's already cooked. It's already been through a pressure canner for 90 minutes and it's fully cooked. It's got all of its flavor contained in there in that in the jars when it's canned. So the lot, a lot of the work is done for you when you use canned meat. Now I've noticed that some of these are not as big as I'd like them. They're kind of big chunks. So I'm just gonna cut them up just a little bit. I do like chunky uh, soups, but other people in the family like it to be cut up a little bit more. So I'm just gonna take this scissors and just cut this meat up just a little bit smaller. Maybe just cut some of the chunks in half. It looks delicious. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Now that I've got those cut up a little bit, I'll go ahead and cut the potatoes up. While I'm browning this hamburger meat over here, 
The hamburger meat will be eaten mostly for lunch. I won't eat all this by myself, but some of the, the kids might like some of it. You know, you can always brown your hamburger, put it in the refrigerator, and add it to other dishes. Go ahead and continue to let that cook, and I'll... Uh, Keep that, you know, crumbled up so that it'll brown evenly. We'll get ready for that. Might have some interruptions today. I've got the grandkids here. They called school off, but they're homeschooled. These, these that I'm keeping today are homeschooled anyway. So, uh, they would have been here anyway. But uh, they may need something, and I might have to stop and help them. I'm going to try to remember to pause this camera when I do that so that you're not stuck just looking at an empty pan for a minute. I'm just going to cut these up kind of, you know, smallish, not real big, but not real small. Be good in a bowl of beef stew with potatoes. Now, I like beef stew just by itself, but Donald, he he loves the potatoes. I love potatoes, too, so I'm not complaining. I'm just saying you can fix it, your beef stew, with or without potatoes. Once you get used to it with, with uh, potatoes, it's like something's missing if you fix it without them. Yep, it's an excellent day to be in here fixing something to eat. We've got a tornado warning in our area. Well, this, uh, this is ready to cook. I'm going to stir it up a little bit. I'm not going to add a lot of seasoning to this. I'll probably add uh, black pepper. And that's about it. Now, I will taste it after it's boiled for about 10 minutes, but it's got to come to a good boil and boil for about 10 minutes before I'll taste it because it's got those canned foods in. And I always cook canned foods that are low acid, like a meat or low acid vegetables. I always cook them at least 10 minutes or more before I taste them to make sure, you, you know, that's just a good habit to get in into to cook those. So I'm cooking those. Go ahead and work on this hamburger. Then I'll take this hamburger out and drain this pot and put my soup in. But I've got to watch out because it is a tornado warning. Well, we got this boiling. It's boiled for 10 minutes, so now I'm just going to cut it down to a simmer. And that's all you have to do. I'm going to add a little black pepper to it. I'll taste it and see if it needs salt. If it does, then I'll add salt. I got the hamburger ground. I'm going to drain this fat off of this. Put the uh, hamburger in a bowl to use for the tortillas. And then I'm going to leave a little bit in this pot for my soup. There's not too much uh, fat on this. I mean, in this hamburger, you know, it's a low, it's a lean hamburger, so there's not a lot of fat in it. I'm just going to leave about that much in the pot. And add my soup, which the soup will be for lunch. The soup and the tortillas, uh, maybe a burrito out of those tortillas, and then the um, 
stewed meat and potatoes would be for dinner, for supper tonight. This is soup where I fixed a big pot of vegetable soup and then I had a lot left over so I just froze it in individual bags, little quart bags, and now I've got lunch for a while. I do like chunky soup and I've got these cut up pretty good size and it's the way that I like it. But I'm going to go ahead and add some tomato sauce because I just want a little bit more soup in there for a day like today. So I just added some tomato sauce, a can. Nothing fancy. Food line, no salt added. Tomato sauce. And I'll add a little water to that. There we go. You can see how that makes quite a bit of soup. But I wanted enough soup so I could put some crackers in it for lunch today. And when these potatoes are done, and this, uh, and this potatoes and uh, beef stew, beef stew with potatoes, when this is done... When the potatoes are done in here, this will be done and ready to eat. Of course, I'll let this stew for a little while. That's a classic dish. Me and Donald both had this growing up. It's a beef stew and potatoes. This is vegetable soup. It'd be perfect for a day like this for lunch. And I'm going to heat this up good and put it in a bowl and enjoy it. I've got some hamburger here. If I end up not needing it to make a tortilla because I've got uh, quite a bit of soup there, I'm just going to put this in a container and put it in the refrigerator and just have have it tonight with um, whatever, you know, with our beef stew or something, maybe a tortilla for the kids that don't want soup or something. I'll have it as an option. Now, here's a tip that I do. It's what I do around here. Now, this is some of those cucumber pickles. I've already ate most of the pickles. I think there's one little pickle left in there. I love these on salads or anything. There's a whole lot of uh, pickle mixture in here. There's a whole lot of... Uh, and I'm just going to add a little bit of this to my vegetable soup. Because it'll add a lot of flavor. Now, I saved this. Lately, I've been liking to make salad dressing out of it. I know the ingredients in here. I made the pickles in it. And I will in no way, shape, or form throw this vinegar away. This vinegar pickle mixture is a sweet mixture. They're really good. And it makes a good salad dressing. Here's a tip for you. If you like your soup really hot... Run hot water in your uh, bowl before you put your soup in it and let it set in there and warm up your soup bowl. And then when you put your soup in it, it'll stay warmer longer. I'm going to add just a little bit of Old Bay seasoning to this. Maybe about a half a teaspoon. I'm going to put a dollop of sour cream in here. And I'm going to sprinkle on a little cheese. Supper's on the stove. More vegetable soup if anybody chooses that. I'm going to go in here and sit down and have my good cup of soup, my vegetable soup with my little bit of uh, sour cream in it. I've got some cleanup to do right here. And that finishes me up for the day.
this video is finished. The power didn't go off. I was able to get it cooked, and that's a great thing. Thank you for joining me today, and like always, until next time.